Sorry, just trying to work out where the unmute button disappeared to. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to give a short presentation uh, on the proposed submission area action plan uh, and some of the changes that we've made to the document since we consulted on it um, in 2020. So uh, some of you will be familiar that North East Cambridge forms an important part of the emerging uh, Greater Cambridge local plan. Uh, the local plan evidence identifies that North East Cambridge is the most sustainable location uh, for development in Greater Cambridge based on its location and its good transport accessibility. And the preferred um, policy direction for North East Cambridge in the local plan is to provide around 8,350 new homes, around 15,000 new jobs and the necessary mitigation and infrastructure to support the development. It's important to note as well that the majority of homes and jobs at North East Cambridge won't actually be delivered until after 2041. One of the reasons for that is because of the existing wastewater treatment plant on site. So it's not a development that's going to spring up overnight. In terms of the wastewater treatment work, um, most of you be aware that the AAP predicated on the off-site relocation of the wastewater treatment plant. And therefore, there's a separate development consent order process or DCO process that must conclude before we can actually demonstrate that the, the site and the area action plan is deliverable. Now, if that DCO process um, is approved, then we anticipate consulting on the area action plan in around 2024, which is subject to an internal health check where we'll determine whether there are any material changes in circumstance or evidence that may result in both the evidence or the plan being updated where necessary. Uh, the supporting documents of the sustainability appraisal and the habitats regulation assessment uh, will also at that stage look at the cumulative impacts of the area action plan with other plans and projects. Now that's not just about the wastewater treatment plant, but that may be also other developments uh, and projects taking place within this wider area. Uh, you'll recall that the AAP was consulted on in 2014 and 2019, where we asked a series of questions during the issues and options consultation, and that helped then inform the draft area action plan that was consulted on in 2020. Uh, that draft plan set out the amount of development and associated facilities, um, as well as uh, um, amending the site boundary of the area to include Cambridge Regional College and Cambridge Science Park, whilst also taking out Bramble Fields uh, and Nuffield Road um, allotments. The draft plan generated around 4,200 comments um, from nearly 600 individuals and organisations. Some of the key issues from the consultation came out, that came out included the provision of on-site open space, uh, that building heights and densities were too high, there was an imbalance between homes and jobs that would result in uh, pressures on in commuting into the local area by car, and also a lack of clarity on community facilities. So as a result of the feedback and the evidence, uh, we've updated the vision for North East Cambridge, which is on the screen there, um, as well as the spatial framework for the area. Uh, we now have more local centres in North East Cambridge, more open space, an improved walking and cycling network, both within the site and um, spreading out around the local area, as well as additional landscape buffers to the east. In terms of some of the proposed changes, um, this is again based on uh, further evidence that we've undertaken. So one of the things we've done is we've reduced building heights. So now generally building heights are between four and six storeys and all buildings are under 10 storeys. Uh, so that's similar to a lot of the, the more recent developments that have sprung up around Cambridge. We've reduced densities, but maintained the housing numbers, but there's been a 25% reduction in the amount of office floor space and office jobs coming forward in the area. We're also, continuing to protect the industrial floor space uh, within North East Cambridge, which is, which is extremely important to the local community uh, and also the functioning of the city. Uh, and we've also confirmed the community and cultural facilities that will be provided on site, and I have a slide on that in a moment. We've also strengthened the transport policies and have a transport strategy to manage vehicle movements as development comes forward over time. Uh, in terms of informal open space, we're now meeting the informal and children's play open space standards in full on, and on site. So that basically means that all homes will be within a five minute walk of an open space. The spaces are large. So in total, um, the open space at North East Cambridge will be around the size of about 50 football pitches. Um, and the central park, which is the kind of triangular shape uh, in the lighter green color, is about half the size of Parker's Piece. The linear park uh, is over a kilometre long and stretches from Nuffield Road all the way up to um, the north of the site up against the A14. And it's about 70 to 100 metres wide. 
Um, the open spaces have been carefully designed to make sure they incorporate existing tree belts, the protected hedgerow on Cowley Road, the first public drain, as well as the key walking and cycling connections. Um, the open spaces as well, and what you see on the plan, are in addition to private balconies and gardens, courtyards within blocks themselves, and rooftop and podium terraces as well. So this isn't even all of the kind of um, communal and private open spaces that will, that will be on North East Cambridge. In terms of formal sports provision, these will be delivered through multi-use sports courts and any shortfall in the standards uh, will be provided within existing adjacent communities. Now we're undertaking further work as part of the Greater Cambridge local plan process to better understand both the existing and future sports requirements, not just around North East Cambridge, but across the whole of Greater Cambridge more generally. Um, so we'll look at this in a much more holistic way rather than just looking at one site. Uh, and in terms of uh, food growing spaces, and th there will be uh, provision on site as well as a community garden, which will be, again, any shortfall um, will need to be provided in, within existing neighbouring communities. Um, one of the things I thought was really important to talk about was the on site facilities that we're providing within the, the plan. Now, bear in mind, these are the minimum, um, you know, more can come forward as part of development proposals coming forward on the site. But essentially, it's three primary schools, which include nursery provision. A district centre and four local centres, which we think will generate over 100, 100 retail units, 100 shops, including five supermarkets, a new community centre, which is about the same size as story, the Storyfield Centre in Eddington, a new library, a health hub, which, which would include GP services, a visual and performing arts hub, which includes studios and theatre space and community conference space. Broadly speaking, it's more than twice the size of the footprint of the Cambridge Corn Exchange building. Five a five court indoor sports hall, as well as new walking and cycling for, um, connections to uh, make sure that this isn't an isolated development and it forms part of the city. Some of the other benefits of North East Cambridge include limiting car journeys. We have a very strict trip budget for the site, no fossil fuels on site and an overall 20% biodiversity net gain. 40% of the homes will be affordable, including new jobs and training opportunities. And um, as I mentioned, new services and facilities and protecting industrial floor space. So the councils have now agreed the proposed submission area action plan last month at both South Cambridge District Council and Cambridge City Council. So the AAP will now pause uh, in order to uh, wait for the, the outcome of the DCO process. After that, we were then uh, published for consultation before a public examination. I just wanted to pick up on about beyond the AAP boundary. North East Cambridge is a very tight red line, um, you know, whereas you know, some of the issues that we need to think about go beyond that and form part of the local plan process. Um, so one of the things we're doing is um, looking at how we can bring forward new large green spaces uh, to support the health and well-being, not only of new residents, but also existing uh, residents and communities across the area. So one of those spaces includes the large uh, green area north of Cambridge, which will stretch all the way up to North Stowe and Water Beach, as well as Chiston Fen, which falls between North East Cambridge um, and, and the, um, the River Corridor. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the majority of new homes at North East Cambridge won't actually come forward until after 2041. So there is an opportunity and there is time for these new open spaces to come forward alongside the completion of new homes. Um, so uh, I, I, that's something that we will continue to progress as part of the local plan. Another key local issue which really came out was about the Fen Road level crossing um, and about how long the barrier is down for. Um, and um, whilst the, the barrier and the level crossing is outside of the AAP area and not directly related to the development, both councils are really keen that Network Rail considers the issues relating to the downtime of the crossing and this is only going to get worse um, as the number of trains increase uh, and provide us a, a suitable solution to the issue. So therefore, as we pause the AEP process and continue to develop the local plan, we're gonna to continue to engage with Network Rail on this local key, key local issue. Uh, secondary school provision was, is also a thing that's, that's come out uh, following recent discussions. And based on our population forecast, the Educational Authority have confirmed that North East Cambridge won't generate um, the need for an on-site uh, secondary school. Uh, and therefore developer contributions will be sought towards improving and enhancing existing schools within existing communities in North Cambridge. Now, you know, one of the things we need to do is make sure that people, children have easy access from North East Cambridge to those existing schools. So one of the things we've looked at is how the spatial framework could actually identify a quiet route away from Milton Road that will enable students um, to get to school safely and conveniently. 
uh, and the route that I've shown on, I think you can see on the screen takes less than 10 minutes by bike um, and not even having to use Milton Road. Um, so I think that's a, an improvement on the current situation. And then finally, the last point that's really come up as well is about swimming pool provision. Now, based on the national sport England models, um, North East Cambridge doesn't generate the need for a on-site swimming pool. Um, and therefore we're seeking developer contributions again to deliver a, a new pool uh, at, at West Cambridge. Um, there are already, however, there are already five pools within a 10 to 15 minute cycle of North East Cambridge. So we're not expecting everyone to use the pool in West Cambridge. Obviously people have choices to where they go and there are five other pools within a local area. Um, there's uh, Impton Sports College, Jesus Green Lido, Cheston Sports Centre, Abbey Leisure Complex and Parkside Pools. Now, again, as part of the local plan process, we'll be looking at how new pools at Water Beach and at North Stowe will actually affect the existing pools within the city, because at the moment, a lot of people from South Cam's come into, into the city to use the pools there, as well as consider the growth options uh, and the growth requirements of all of the local planned sites. So Cambridge East and other sites like that, and actually look at some pool provision uh, in the round, rather than again, just looking at North East Cambridge and what North East Cambridge generates. Um, I know that was a very quick presentation. There was a lot to get through, but hopefully that covered the kind of key broad um, points and changes to the plan. And uh, yeah, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.